This week, we go out for gyros. <laughs> My pick of the week this week is Doom Patrol from Young Animals. This is from the new DC imprint that I was telling you about a couple of weeks ago. It's from the creator of the award-winning Umbrella Academy and the frontman for My Chemical Romance, Gerard Way. We've got six variant covers for this first issue and for this cover that we've seen in most of the solicitations, the gyro is a peel-off sticker. How cool is that? The whole point behind DC's Young Animals is to showcase new talent, and when you see these pages by Nick Darrington, you'll see why. It doesn't matter if you're an old fan of the Doom Patrol, or this is your very first issue, there's something for everybody here. You should check this book out. It's probably going to be one of the best books of the year. I'm going to start off merchandise this week with another black and white statue from DC Direct. It's Harley Quinn by Lee Bamero. Harley Quinn is also in this new line of bombshell figurines and is also joined by Wonder Woman and Catwoman. These are really cool baby doll sculpts. Be sure to check them out. When you come into the store next time, check out our brand new batch of dollar books. And now our collector's segment, Spec Market. Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is returning to television soon and they're bringing Ghost Rider into the new season. They're coming out with a new series to coincide with him being on the show. This won't be a top tier book or anything, but with him coming to TV, you can expect this first issue to be a sellout. So, first springs could be worth a little something. The production team for Wolverine 3 has officially announced Mr. Sinister as the villain. His first appearance is in Uncanny X-Men issue 221. It's already a key book going in the $20 to $30 range. If you're already looking for it, I would really try to find it. Or if you are holding on to one, I would get rid of it around them when the movie drops. The mainstream movies always give the biggest boost. And recently, Mr. Sinister was on the cover of Extraordinary X-Men 4. For whatever reason, that book had a small print run and was really hard to find. And it's already hitting the low teens on eBay. So, make sure to check your collection and see if you're setting on that one. It's last up is Darth Vader issue 25. This will be wrapping up his solo series, and it's going to have a whole bunch of variant covers, including one by Joe Quesada, who hardly ever draws anymore. This cover will also have an extra variant, black and white cover, that will be super hard to get. Other notable covers include Chris Somney, Sal Roca, and an action figure cover. Let me know if there's a particular cover you want to get. I want to let everybody know that this Saturday is Batman Day. We're going to do 20% off all Batman products, so don't miss out on that. Thanks for watching. Remember to share this video for your chance to win, and I'll see you on Wednesday. Be sure to check them out. Alright, that works. Get a... Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Okay. <laughs> I'll kill you. I kill you dead.